the second tree. We're doing the spring part over ten row. Since that anti abortion has been trying to make happen. We're driving, right? Yeah. Okay, take a little slower on this one. Now, why this? Well, it is it is very obvious the why. If you if you're an anti-abortion activist, it's like why not? The pathway is cleared for you to demolish abortion rights and access. So just go for it. And here's the thing, like medication abortion is also thrown anti-abortionists for a real loop because they're like, OK, well, we can, you know, we, we want to shut down the clinics, you know. But the thing is like, oh, well, unfortunately, people can actually have a very safe abortion at home. Thanks to medication abortion pills is that this judge's decision could potentially have on abortion rights nationwide national injunctions. And so what people are asking for is not just say that the FDA uh, was incorrect in approving mifepristone, not just for this district in Texas, but nationwide. And so at least temporarily, if the judge does in fact issue a nationwide injunction, that would mean that mifepristone cannot be prescribed and used throughout the country. And now, of course, we know the hearing's taking place. That's why we're all talking about it. And the next step is, of course, for us to wait for probably a written decision.